those days where I was sitting in my car for 15, 20 minutes before a workout, not wanting to do it, but just remembering what I was working for, that victory, that, that feeling of accomplishment. What was different from this prep compared to the last one? The mindset. I did want to win it very badly. And I just didn't, I didn't want to win it by a point or two. I wanted a perfect scorecard, which I got, which I'm very happy. It did help me tremendously during the whole 16 week of prep, especially the days where you just, you just, you're just dismotivated like at all. You just, you just want to give up. So you just think, think to yourself, like, why are you doing this? Like, you just got to think about something that pushes you through those hard days. And for me, it was just to have an absolute win and just get that open notification. <laughs> so we'll do as planned. Um, 200 ml water to start, then 100 fish, 250 rice, 25 other oil, double salt, 100 ml coffee, and one gram vitamin C. to Sunday, I was just locked in. For me, it was just like, all right, it's show day. You've been working for 16 weeks. You've been very hard prep, like the hardest one that I've ever done by far. And just time to shine. Just show the people what you've been going through, what's, who you are, let's say. And yeah, no, I was just happy. Very happy that day. I just felt at peace. Felt felt very light, and I was just like I felt what I, I was at my place. Like I knew I knew it would have been a good day for sure. So as you saw, Samuel just posed. Uh, we're Sunday morning, June fourth. Uh, Samuel is competing at the Toronto Pro um, Super Show, which is a qualifier for the Olympia. He's competing in the classic division and this was his final morning check-in. Uh, we're gonna look at him one more time, maybe twice before he steps on stage. He's gonna get tan, get his makeup done, get his, his hair done, and he's gonna be pre-judging. Where guys are compared one with another to see who looks the best. I'm really confident Sam is gonna do well uh, today. It's his second pro show, but only his fourth show in his whole life. Um, and if he wins, well, he's qualified for the Olympia, which is bodybuilding's biggest show, kind of like the, body, the Super Bowl of bodybuilding. So we'll get into that and I'll keep you guys posted on how everything goes. Okay, so 8.30, uh, we're with Samuel at the main venue. We're about to go get his last coat of tan done. Uh, this guy is super, super white, like a ghost. So we actually started tanning him one day sooner than usual. So he started tanning Friday, Saturday, and then this morning for the final coat, so that he's super brown. And the reason why uh, bodybuilders put a tan on before stage is because it, out it outlines the muscle better. You see more definition, you see more striation, you see everything in a better way. And the color is actually super important and it's also judged. It's also why I'm coming with Sam to just make sure that everything's perfect color-wise. So we'll go ahead and get that done, and we'll see you around that afterward. They always asking for too much. I need to get some better luck. Need a moment to adjust, and when faces I don't trust. There's no sense in yelling man down. No one can hear me, they ain't coming around. Chest, come so, come so, come so. Charlie dans salle, muse toi. Take your pose. Have fun. Have fun. See fat. Good. All right. Nice. Let's go, Carl. Let's go, finish him. Oh, let's go, Cal. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How I felt. It's uh. It's hard to say because it's 
it's still kind of vague, I'd say, because everything goes by super fast. But it's very, I'd say, humbling that people that you don't know, they come up to you and they're like, you inspire me, you, you make me push myself a little bit more, and they're just complimenting what you've been working on for many, many, many years. And they see you that you can go to the top. I can't lie, it feels good, but knowing that people told me that like, you're gonna win, you're gonna win, I had to put, put out kind of a shield because for me, like I told my girlfriend, I told everyone, it's not, I didn't win until they said my name. And until then, even when, if people told me I was about to win, for me, I was just like, it's not done. I still gotta get focused, I still gotta, still got finals, still gotta bring, bring a bigger, a better package. So, overall, how I felt, kind of overwhelmed, <laughs> I'd say. But a good kind of overwhelm, like massively positive. Okay, so we just got done with prejudging. Went really, really, really well for Samuel. Um, he made first call out. Basically, what first call out means is they pick the top guys. Uh, in this case, it was six guys, I think. And they compare these guys at the beginning after having seen everyone like one after the other. And then they move Sam to the middle along with another guy. When you're in the middle, uh, it means you're top two. So like shared middle, shared center that we call. And then at the end, they brought just Sam and another guy from Quebec, Carl, uh, to compare both. And honestly, based on feedback and all that kind of stuff, I mean, you, you never fully know, but I do think Sam is taking it. So prejudging is the, a wrap. Uh, he's having finals in about, I'd say, five, six hours, where he's going to do his full posing routine. So I just looked at him, obviously, and we're going to see, like, we're going to have him eat a meal right now, probably another one in another, like, two, three hours. Uh, if he can, he's going to take a small nap. That usually, like, helps calm everything. Um, and then it's kind of the same thing as this morning. He's going to just chill, get touch-ups for his stand, and then pump up, go back for a posing routine. They're gonna do a small comparison again, and then that's gonna be it, we're gonna know who's winning. The hard days from last prep, those days where I was sitting in my car for 15, 20 minutes before the workout, not wanting to do it, but just remembering what I was working for. Elbows up, elbow, elbow. Side chest. Back to the eyes up. just gonna do it over again like I've tasted victory I want it again might not get it this year at the Olympia for sure but I'm gonna work towards getting to the top as fast as I can